But I want to come back to to this thing and I want to push you on it. Let's say you, you, you're suddenly interested in hacking APIs and this is a new thing. How do you, like what's your methodology of way of attacking that from being like, I know nothing about this topic to like now you're the expert in this topic. And like, you know, you said you didn't know how to hack cars and now you've got a book on hacking cars, which we'll get into the technical details in a moment. But how do you approach that? Do you just like consume knowledge, YouTube videos? You know, what's sort of your game plan? So I look at it as like a blank piece of paper. Um, if if any of you have heard, if, you know, applied the concept of mind mapping, mind mapping in college, or remember mind mapping, um, it's it's the idea that you start with a central thought and then you branch out through these other nodes within the mind map. And the first thing I do is I start out with the center topic, like hacking APIs or hacking cars, and then I start mapping out what are the things within that sphere of hacking cars that I need to be aware of. So. As a hacker, the first thing you need to be aware of is what are your ingress points? How do you communicate with the car? What does hacking a car mean? What exactly does that mean? Is you're you're not, you know, I mean, that could mean many things. It could be it could mean throwing a, a brick through the window and reaching in and unlocking the doors to hacking the car through Bluetooth or wireless. You know, so the first thing I do is I start mapping out what are my communication interfaces for that target. With a car, it's telematics control unit. It's the router or modem for the car. So that's one ingress point, right? So the telematics control unit is the router for the car, and it uses GSM to communicate. So I put that on that node, right? I put that on that that little square is GSM TCU. Okay, what what are the other communication interfaces? Bluetooth. Okay, so I put down Bluetooth. Uh, infotainment system, that's kind of like the computer screen or media entertainment system within the car. So that has a USB port, right? Okay, that's yeah. a communication interface, right? I Then I found out, realized that the in-vehicle networking, that everything is connected within the car. So if you've seen that car commercial where the person is, the driver's turning the steering wheel left, you can see in that car, I think it was an Audi, See the car, the headlights were turning left yeah. as the car was taking the turn. That's because the headlights are connected and are communicating with other electronic control units within the car. So if I remove the headlight, doesn't that give me access to the in-vehicle network? Because it's it's connected to the headlights. Yeah. It's not just electricity. Yeah. So, you know, you've, we found that you could hack a car by taking the headlight out and communicate. And, and there's the, the communication port that the um, headlights are connected to. So you map out all of the communication interfaces, what is called also um, referred to colloquially as the attack surface. Yeah. Right. So that's your attack surface. Then those are the things that I need to study and learn. I need to know what a TCU is. Okay, what are the different TCUs out there? Uh, how does it communicate? Okay, GSM. I need to learn how to hack GSM. Okay, rogue base stations. What's that? How do you build one? Okay, I need to build a rogue base station. Uh, okay, these cars communicate with APIs. That was my most recent research. So, you know, the, the thing is, is that you're, you're figuring out what your attack surface is and what you can actually target with the device you're targeting. Yeah. And then learning more about those things. So with APIs, it's like, okay, let me go research the history of APIs. All right, there's different types of APIs. There's RESTful APIs, like REST APIs. Yeah. There's GraphQL. There's these different types of APIs. Okay, how do REST APIs work? Okay, what types of REST APIs do you have? You've got private, you've got public, you've got web APIs, you've got mobile APIs. Okay, mobile apps communicate with APIs. Okay. Android hacking, Android mobile app hacking. I need to research that. iOS hacking. I need to research that. You're kind of building this spider web of yeah. all of these things that you can target that you need to learn how to build or create or, or, or do vulnerability research into. And then that just kind of creates a a step-by-step -step attack map or kill chain for hacking that particular thing. So, so that's it's it's a very kind of I start with the blank page. I, I like to say. Uh, and I, I'm going to plagiarize this from Quentin Tarantino. I believe that God put me on earth to face the blank page. You know, it's just, yeah. I, I, and if you think about it, that's really, we're, we're all faced with a blank page, whether it's screenwriting or hacking a car or hacking APIs or hacking a firewall or hacking a VPN. We're all faced with that blank page because we all start out with not knowing anything about it. I, I love that like you you've, you got into hacking when you were 13, is that right? I mean, you didn't Correct. follow some kind of course or some kind of curriculum. I you, didn't because if you think about it, David, they, they didn't really exist back yeah. then. When I started in hacking, even if, if you recall in the 90s, there was no master's degree in cybersecurity. There was no, you know, there was no SANS training center 
There was no, you know, the, at the time, even security focus, for those of you who remember that, there was none of that. And so yeah. it, it really irks me. I have an open door policy, so please don't take this the wrong way. You can reach out to me on social media and say hi and tell me, you know, what the color of the sky is today. I don't care. <laughs> um, but when people reach out to me on social media and say, Alyssa, can you teach me how to hack? How do you do that, David? Like, okay, yep. so I'm going to spend an hour a day on social media teaching you how to hack. I've been doing this for 22 years. The thing is, is that when I started out, you know, it's great. We have this collaboration. We have securitytube.net. We have, uh, you know, SANS. We have all these places you can go. We've got books. Do you think that there were, you know, Metasploit Unleashed or all these hacking books, <laughs> the, the Hacker's Blueprint? They didn't exist back then. You had to download exploit source code, which is what I did, looked at the source code, modified it, recompiled it, trying to change it or trying to get it to do something else. Uh, yeah, I reverse engineered the exploits and, and modified them so I could learn how they work. I ran them and then used TCP dump, at the time Ethereal, which is yep. now called Wireshark, to analyze the packets, to look at the packets, and I ended up becoming a packet monkey and, and really getting into packets and, and trying to learn how things work through packets, which is how I was able to circumvent VP net appliances and, and subsequently spoke about it at Black Hat briefings on how to circumvent any VP net appliance was just looking at the packets and seeing what the packets were doing. You can tell so much about the way an application works, about the way an exploit works, the way malware works, the way a black box works by looking at the packets. That's so interesting. To me, yeah, to me, it's a storyteller. Thank <laughs> you.